Good morning. Good to be with you again. And uh, welcome to another day in paradise. Beautiful now. It was raining earlier. I got a lot of water on the deck right now. And I am prepared in case it starts raining again. I don't think it will, but again, good to be prepared. Reminds me, though, of a proverb I heard once. Um, not a biblical one, but it's uh, this. Brave man doesn't mind a little rain in his face, but a wise man knows enough to cover his head. So what's better? Let me ask you this. Is it better to be brave or is it better to be wise? I bring that up because today we're going to look at King David. Um, not king yet, although God has told him through the prophet Samuel that he would be, anointed him to be king. David's still a young boy. And he is going to be both brave and wise. And what's better? David is uh, not in the army, too young. All of his brothers are, though. And right now they are fighting the Philistines. And he goes to visit them. His dad sends him along with some food and wants some news of how things are going. He finds the Israelites camped against the Philistines. And the two armies are just standing there. They're not fighting. So he asks why. And his brothers explained to him that there's this man who comes out every day and taunts them. Now they had kind of set up a, an arrangement. It's sometimes how this happened. Rather than having two armies decimate each other, they would choose champions. And those two men would fight each other and the winner would be the victor of the battle. That way you'd only lose one man. Well, the Philistines sent out one man who was huge. Nine feet tall. Goliath was his name. And he kept taunting the Israelites and taunting God and, and insulting them and no one was brave enough to go up against Goliath. He's a big guy. David starts in the, in the eyes of his brother shooting his mouth off. Well, why? Why won't you go? God is going to give him into your hands. They get upset because they're starting to look a little bit cowardly. But David eventually finds himself before King Saul, who has promised anybody who goes against Goliath and wins, they will get my daughter in marriage, they will get my honor, my pride, they will uh, be very blessed. And so David, he says he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna go fight Goliath. Everybody kind of laughs. But Saul, all right, take my armor, take my, my, my weapons. David tries them on, it's not gonna work. Now David, he knows how to do things and why, you know, my, as my dad would say, don't switch horses in the middle of the stream. Do what you do. Um, so he takes his sling, what he has done battle with before, and he goes up against Goliath. Takes five rocks out of the river, goes up against Goliath. Shows incredible bravery, right? Can we call it bravery? Incredible bravery going up against this nine foot tall seasoned warrior with five rocks. Now he's not questioning God, but in the past when he went into battle against something, a lion, a wolf, be prepared, be prepared right now. So he goes into battle and you probably heard this story. If not, spoiler alert, he wins. He, he casts this rock. Actually, I should back up. This is important. He says, I come in the name of the Lord and I'm going to kill you because you have defiled the name of, the God, of God. And so he does. He throws a rock and hits Goliath right in the forehead, kills him. Just to, so everybody knows that he kills him, he takes his huge sword, cuts that off. And he wins. You know, the story of David and Goliath is probably one of the most popular stories in the Bible and often used to teach bravery as an example of tremendous courage, the little guy against the big guy. But was it courage or was it wisdom? I'll tell you a proverb that is from the Bible, Proverbs 9, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The respect or awe of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And when David goes against Goliath, what does he say to his brothers? What does he say to Saul? What does he say to Goliath? I'm coming on behalf of God. So really, you see this battle between David and Goliath. What do you see? You don't see a battle versus a little man and a big man. You see a battle versus a big man, a little man, and God. So who was the uh, underdog in this? Was it David or was it Goliath? It was Goliath. I mean, who's, who's foolish enough to go up against God. That's not courage. That's that's stupidity. And that's where Goliath sat. David, he, he went in wisdom. 
knowing that God was fighting with him. And of course, that gave him courage. David was a human being, and, and, and I'm sure there was a, a little bit of fear there. There always is as we face the future. But he had wisdom to know that God was with him, and that wisdom gave him the right to be brave. It gave him the power to be brave. And, of course, it gave him the power to succeed. Now, I hope you see the lesson here. What's better, brave or wisdom? To be brave or to be wise? I'd say to be wise. Because when you're wise, when you have true wisdom to know that God is always with you, then you can be brave. Then you know that you can conquer all things. And that is something I pray that I always remember and you do too. Uh, be brave, knowing that God is always on your side. We pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the power that you show in our lives. We thank you for the help that you have given and that you promise to give in the future. As we face the days ahead, whatever those days may hold in our lives or as a society, help us to trust you and to know that you are in charge of all things. Help us to use our head and to use the gifts that we know how to use, to be smart, but always to depend on you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless your day.